from the Wizards. They're shooting 31%, not looking sharp offensively, to say the least. Thomas is the point with Bradley into his side. Jay Crowder out there with Olenek. And it's Zeller in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Well, Mark Keith Morris likes to get his points without having to put the ball on the deck. Outside Bradley. Porter against Crowder. Hit by Zeller. Off the screen, and he nails the jumper. Ten points for Jay Crowder. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. He really has to get it off that quickly. Any hesitation when you're giving up that kind of size, it's almost sure to get blocked. Now here's Gortat. Pass to Morris. It's Beal on the wing. Here's Gortat. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, with his size and agility, Gortat always a factor on the backboards. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Mickey's checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Gerald Green comes in for Crowder. Young's checked in for Bradley. And it's Rozier in for Thomas. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. McCullough's checked in for Markeith Morris. Kelly Oubre comes in for Otto Porter Jr. Max checked in for Bradley Beal. And Zedaransky subbed in for Burke. Shots good by Mickey. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? Too many. Simple as that. Their defensive weaknesses are being exposed right now. Smith checked in for Gortat. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Mack, the pass to McCullough. The feed to Mack. The Wizards working the ball around now. Shot clock at five. Sadaransky. No good with the triple. The Celtics shooting straight 49% from the field. Rozier kicks to Mickey. Off target from three-point range. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And Tyler Zeller is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Smith's shot is good. Oh, wasting no time on that inbound play. Really heads up. Just caught the defenders napping. Rozier kicks to Mickey. Feeds it to Green. Pass to Rozier. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Sadoransky. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Kicks it to Zeller. Green up on top. And it's Green with the jam. Oh, fellas, that was vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Washington has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pass to Sadoransky, launches it, good on the triple. You know, the step slow on the defensive end, and it cost them three points. Bad decision. Here's Rozier. It's tipped. It's taken away by Smith. And here we go, the Wizards fast break. Mack leading the charge, and the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. No doubt that is within his range. <laughs> I think that's exactly what you're looking for on the break. Finish right at the rim. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Morris is checked in for Smith. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Kelly Oubre. Bradley Beals checked in for Mack. And it's Jennings in for Sedaransky. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Olenek with the steal. It's three-on-three on the fast break. There's a whistle that goes on Isaiah Thomas. 
That's his third foul of the game. They're doing well overall, but the turnovers have been the exception. Gortat's checked in for Washington. Now here's Beal. Gortat with the ball. Back to Beal. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. You know, he clearly made adjustments at halftime. Smooth, smooth offense right now. Let's it go from 11. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Jennings kicks to Morris. They set the pick. This is to Gortat. To the inside. Here's Jennings. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. That free throw good from Jennings. Brandon Jennings hits them both. Celtics leading by 21. It's tipped. Thomas kicks to Johnson. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. And really, just a lack of awareness on his part. Just no idea he was right near the line. Now Jennings poked away. In a fast break now for the Celtics. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Gortat with the steal. Here's Morris. A shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. You know, tried to do it there instead of look for his teammates, and I, I think he'll pass the next time. Now here's Beal. And here's Jennings. There's a screen by Gortat. Jennings kicks to Gortat. Just five to shoot. Got a piece of it. Beal dishes to Porter. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Austin leading by 21. Outside Thomas. Outside Brent. Pocket six takes the 13 footer, and Kelly Olinick is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. He's off on the first. Well, great lineage for Gortat. His father was an Olympic boxer, his mother played volleyball on the Polish national team. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Yurebko's checked in for Jensen, and it's Crowder in for Brown. Thomas against Jennings. Gortat with the rebound. Wizards trail by 20. Outside, Beal. That's good from Porter on the assist from Beal. 14 points for Otto Porter Jr. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Looking to end the drought, and the big shot is good. And that's now 30 points for Isaiah Thomas. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Jennings kicks to Morris. Here's Beal. Rebound, Boston. I'll tell you, they're fighting the good fight, but he's not helping a difficult situation by missing this way. Thomas, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. No one near Jennings as he lets it fly. And a miss there on the triple. One-on-one -on -one fast break. It's stolen by Morris. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. What a story for Markeith Morris, taking exactly one pick before his twin brother Marcus back in 2011. Now here's Thomas. 
at the elbow. It's Bradley. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. You know, creating opportunities right there near the bucket like that, that's always a priority. That's good offense. And that one's good by Porter. Boy, that's shooting with confidence, accuracy. He's trying to keep them in it. Here's Thomas. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Thomas got six in the quarter. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. Their D is getting chewed up. It's time for someone to step forward, put their foot down, and put a stop to these easy baskets. Thomas with the steal. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It goes on Brandon Jennings. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Wizards trail by 21. There's a screen by Gortat. Jennings passes to Gortat. It's back to Jennings. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. I love the aggressiveness. He, you know, taking shots in rhythm, hitting a real high percentage. Thomas kicks to Bradley. Outside Crowder. Just five to shoot. Pulls it up. Beal pulls it in. You know, that kind of miss can rattle your confidence. He knows he should have had that one. Crowder with the steal. Here's a Linux. Bradley kicks to your rep go. Right side, Thomas. Beal against Bradley. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Bradley's got six points in the quarter. Wizards trail by 21. Jennings dishes to Gortzak. Morris kicks to Porter. Rejected by Crowder. To the inside. Olenek can't hit. It's hard not to go for it when you see the chance for that alley-oop. So much of this game is played loose above the rim, but you still have to convert to count it. Celtics leading by 19. And the dunk by Olenek. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Now here's Jennings. Addition out to Gortat. He feeds it to Morris. It's Beal on the wing. Shoots. Here's Gortat. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Now, Gortat is a space eater, and you've got to put a body on, or he's going to burn you with putbacks like he did there. Outside Brantley. And Brandon Jennings gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Al Horford is checked in for Kelly Olynyk. A change for the Wizards. Bogdanovich is checked in for Otto Porter Jr. Now here's Crowder. It's Thomas outside. Gortat with the rebound. Gortat's got 15 rebounds here tonight. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Celtics. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Isaiah Thomas. I thought he really played with a great amount of force. No one was going to deny him. He fought through a lot of defensive schemes meant to slow him down and still had himself a night. Six to shoot. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Some changes for Boston. Johnson, he's checked in for Horford. Gerald Green comes in for Bradley. And it's Rozier in for Thomas. Kelly Oubre is checked in for Washington. Trey Burke comes in for Brandon Jennings. Here's Rozier. Oh, 
The shot misses. Now Washington takes it the other way. Morris passes to Burke. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Burke. And this run not really doing them any good at this point as late as it's starting to evolve. Well, they know they've lost this run, but this is still valuable time to try and work out some of their issues. Over in the corner, Green. Here's your repco. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That's good from your repco. Now, here's Burke. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Al. You guys do it as a five-man unit on the floor. How did you come together for this win? Uh, just taking good shots on offense, um, trying to, you know, getting stops on defense. Uh, we challenge every shot. Um, you know, we just, just played hard tonight. Great effort and a big win, Al. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now we'll head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's not too far away. EJ? The 2K Sports post-game show. Welcome back, friends and neighbors. Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith as we move forward to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Isaiah Thomas. Well, he started off this series with a bang, guys. You know, it means so much to win that game one. And he was the one who went out and got it for him. I know when he woke up after he ate breakfast, he said, this game is mine tonight. And now you got a huge mental edge, too, because he looks unstoppable. He spent a lot of time at the foul line in this game, and that was a big factor for them. He was up in the double digits in terms of free throw attempts. Now that is good, my friend. And that'll signal the end of our NBA postseason coverage of round two for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, the rest of the 2K Sports crew, Ernie Johnson, good night, everybody.